Hey, have you ever thought who would win if a great white shark and a killer whale fought? We have all seen scary movies with sharks terrorizing people on the beaches. But what if a shark would go against one of the biggest and baddest fish in the sea, the killer whale? We need to understand the key features of our competitors. The great white shark is considered one of the biggest predators of the ocean and it has caused fear and admiration among humans with its sharp teeth and its strength and speed. But its reputation as man-eater exceeds the truth, with many exaggerations. When we talk about the size of a white shark compared to the size of a killer whale, also known as the orca, a male killer whale is around 6 meters long, while a male orca is around 9 meters in size. This gives orca an advantage in size. Secondly, let's talk about the weight of these two predators. The white shark is around 2,200 kilograms, while the killer whale is estimated to have a weight of around 5,600 kilograms. This also gives the killer whale advantage over the white shark because it is never easy to get control over that much mass and the weight that the orca carries. Some people might say that having less weight might give the white shark some advantage, like it being more agile, which is in fact not true, because we know that the speed at which the killer whale can travel is estimated to be 48 kilometers per hour, while the white shark can max a speed around 40 kilometers per hour. The killer white shark has around 40 to 56 teeth, which are pointy and sharp, helping them tear through its prey's flesh easily, while the orca has 48 teeth, which are not that sharp. The orca is considered to be a very intelligent mammal, having a human-like brain. They are much more intelligent than the white shark and are considered very social and live and hunt together. So if we talk about a real-life scenario of a fight between the great white shark and a killer whale, the shark which is a lone hunter would always have to face not one orca but more than one orcas, probably a whole family of killer whales, which makes it a very unfair fight because the white shark has no chance of winning. Another advantage that the killer whale has over the great white shark, the great white shark has gills and it gets its oxygen from water, while the orca has a blow hole which helps the killer whale to breathe air directly from the air and it has lungs. This gives the killer whale with another advantage because the oxygen flow in the lungs of a killer whale is way more than the oxygen quantity in the white shark. The killer whale has a horizontal tail while the white shark has a vertical tail, which gives the orca another advantage over the shark because the white shark can only target its prey from below, but the killer whale can attack from any direction, giving it another advantage. After going through these facts, we can conclude that if there was a fight between a killer whale and a great white shark, the great white shark is surely going to lose. But there can always be exceptions in a case where the first attack by a white shark might be fatal or might do critical damage to the whale. But if we speak around the winning probability of the fight, the killer whale has a higher probability of winning. Let's talk about a case where the killer whale and the great white shark are the same size. Both are alone and both are perfectly healthy and highly motivated to kill each other. We can suggest that the white shark might win, but it is highly unlikely for the white shark to encounter these perfect conditions in real life. Thanks for watching. Who would win if a shark and a killer whale fought? If you liked the video, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.